Good afternoon, Builder News. I'm Breck. This is Builder News, where you can watch builders trying your creations. Um, if you are a builder, why don't, when you use other people's products, throw Loom on, give yourself a, a recording, make yourself a recording. Do it right away. Do it before you start using the, the, pro the product. Do it before you even read the pitch. That way it gives the builder whose product you're reviewing the most feedback, the most information to help them build and improve their stuff. So um, as we are all web builders, it's hard to see people use your products and interact with your products for the first time. So this is why it's good. So today we're looking at stuff on the Twitter. Here we go, littlestats.click. Let's take a look at what this is. Just another analytics website, but cheap. Your analytics needs without the premium price tag. Now it's an interesting color scheme. Booger green, I'll, I'll call it. <laughs> uh, early bird special. Oh, geez. I got it. Sorry, I got it. Oh, okay. That's nice. A bit nicer. Um, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's go neutral. No, let's go blue. I like blue. Okay. Is there a, is there a forest green? Mm, I don't like the greens, really. Sorry, let's focus. Okay, was that purple? I don't know. Let's go back to blue. Okay. Um, views, visitors, visitoration, bounce rate. Okay, refers. Oh yeah, I should have refers. Okay, folks, filter. Very simple live track. Monitoring. How how do you install? Um, oh gross copyright. Oh gross. Um, analytics needs about the premium price tag. Now, how to you start free trial? Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Little stats. Account name, Breck. Enter billing details. No, sorry, not gonna do it. Uh, I've, I've not been granted any value yet. I'm not going to. So um, what I wanted to do was try it. So um, little stats, watch this, we'll create a, a website. This, this site, hello, my name is little stats. This is live on the web, by the way. We could also have a custom domain. Watch this, let's rename it to littlestats.togger.com. I'll approve it to you. We've just moved that site. Oh my goodness, I put a dash in there. Is that gonna screw it up? I don't know. Oof, oh crap. Found a bug. <laughs> so much for my demo. Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay, so I do remove the dashes. Um, and, but I didn't redirect to the, to the, uh, say, beautify name. Um, Anyway, so this is littlestats.togger.com. On the back end, it's currently generating an SSL certificate, so that's gonna work in a second. To actually use it right now, we'd have to look at it without SSL. So, but you can see we've got a custom subdomain. And of course, if I point to the real domain, and we, that would be live too. Now, why am I showing you this? Because, look at this. Look at this live traffic of this website that we just created. And look at this, look. So I live in Hawaii and I'm in Hawaii right now. And so when I, look at that, you can see that light, the beams of light coming up to little stats. If I go to trends, we can kind of see. Now you might be like, so here we go. We've got two visitors, two IP addresses. It looks like a, a oh, so the second visitor is the, is the thing that was generating the SSL certificate. Um, which is not quite ready yet. So anyway, um, and now you might be wondering, what is all this? Well, if I, um, uh, um, here, are the, here are the stats logs. I can just delete these. So basically when you create a new site, we clone an ex we always clone an existing site and that includes the, the traffic from the last site. So now if I go to live traffic, and I click 
on trends, we'll just see the the real the real traffic. Um, and so is this SSL certificate? You know, this is interesting. I don't know why it's taking so so long. Usually, it's quite instant. Um, I gotta look into that. But let's go back to the real time view. I wanna show you one more thing, and that is this. If we um, if we if we write, we'll see some gr a green, and so you can see the right that shows up as green on the live traffic. So anyway, little stats. I just figured I'd show you that. Um, check out Scroll Hub. It's open source. You can run your own Scroll Hub server um, in less than sixty seconds. Um, you know, if you're you clearly know what you're talking about, so you could easily get this going, and then. Um, and then you can allow people not not just to do their analytics, but you can host their whole site. Each site is backed by Git, um, and they can do a whole lot. So anyway, you might find that interesting. Um, and it would be cool if you had like so. I'm guessing you're doing JavaScript um, tags, and it'd be kind of cool if I could have tried this without without signing up. But but potentially you're doing it right because you're filtering out all the people that want to kick the tires and you're just focusing on paid customers so I can't fault you for that so um, cool stuff nice job all right cheers